Hello, hello, hello. This is Rich Kale here on YouTube. Rich Gen X elsewhere. And we are once again going into more Killer Instinct. Now, due to how things played out um, in one of the earlier videos, uh, this one's only going to be a, a single fight through. Okay. And, uh, only one more to do, and that's full gore. Ultra combo orchid. We're a perfect victory in every single match. So apparently there's rewards for doing all that. Full gore. Full gore. Now, of course, with him... Let's look at this retro. Not as polished as this one. <clears throat> Full gore. Threat level extreme. Last known location. Access denied. Protocols reactivated. Ant system bootstrap complete. New full gore prototype is online with a singular directive: eliminate enemies of Ultratech. However, the mind of the machine is different. It plans. It feels. It is aware. It is somehow human. So. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So we got that, that, that. Okay. match, I'll tell you that. Now, of course, Fulgore, I think, was pretty much an, uh, I think that he was probably a former prisoner or something. Now, they miled him based off of the tech from Glacius. Fight! 
fight on. I think one theory was that he is somehow related to uh, Chief or something, or Chief Thunder. Maybe Jago. Combo, he was a disgraced fighter because he, uh, I think he used some implementation or technology he shouldn't have. Cinder, he was in the first one. I, though, I don't think Cinder was on the Game Boy release. I would not want to be you today. Ready. Fight! Oh, you son of a bitch. Like with models and that with the original Cinder or and uh Glacius were based on the same models. Which is supposed to show that they were used Eldertech used various things about Glacius kind to uh Let's see. Good on offense there. Look at that. So our next fight is going to be with Jago. I think for this game, Jago was supposed to be like the uh, Luke Kang type character. So I'm thinking about it.
shad on those? second game or something. Crap! 
Yeah. Supreme victory. Now let's look at that. Doubling that to over three thousand. Oh, got a, another general level up. So look, look at that. This is how much I've done with all these characters. Although there's certain ones I haven't touched yet. And as you can see here. So let's move on. This is the final fight. Full gore versus full gore. Fight on. Fight on, yeah. One's the good model. Well, I can't say one's the good model, one's the bad model. I suppose it all depends on which one manages to third. Ah! Okay. He's out. So this is gonna be it for this one. And we put down full four. Supreme victory. All right. So let's see. Shadow officials didn't use any shadow, I don't think. Offensive. Opener's perform nice. Longest breaker streak. Wow. So combos. Uh. So we advance now, and we're going to see his ending. System malfunction, killing blow aborted. How can a machine know mercy? Full gore cannot ignore his imperative to destroy, but human memories interfere with his machine logic. Unable to digest the echoes of a fighting spirit, Full gore attempts to process his true nature. In other words, he spared Bjorkin. Well, that's interesting there. And I'm going to end it here with this. Oh, Shin Hisako versus Cinder. So now we will work through Season 2. I'm not going to do that now. Save that for the next installment. So, when we do Season 2, we'll probably unlock a Season 3 that's outside of the Shadow mode. Now, having Kilgore as the final enemy in the Season 1, uh, season one games just shows how they level these characters. And in the first game, your final enemy was Idol. In the second game, I believe it was supposed to be Gardens. So now having a season 1, 2, and 3, they had Full Gore as the first battle by ending. Season 2 was then, I think, Idol, and then the last one, I think, was Gardens. Well, 
which Gargos is basically your overall arching villain, but Ultra Tech was... Ultra Tech was like your other enemy, but Gargos was, a sh was using them too. But that's it for this time round for the fighting games. So next time round we'll start Season 2 and playing through the stories of the characters in that. So until next time, this is Rich Gale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere, inviting you to subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other things that are up on the channel. Uh, every day I have videos going up at 3 p.m., part of the two-week cycle of games I'm playing through, which includes uh, LucasArts Library of Games, uh, Sierra's Library of Games, uh, runs through the game of Monstrum, Doom franchise, following Doom Guy and Doom slash Doom Slayer, uh, Tomb Raider, Core Designs, Timeline, uh, Sherlock Holmes. Those I've been, was been doing in basically a chronological order. Uh, and, um, the Zork franchise also in a chronological order. Also, uh, of course in the mornings when this premieres, uh, 10 a.m. Tuesday through Saturday I've been just premiering. Uh, Tuesday is usually a, uh, it's a thick reading. Wednesday is a, is Final Fantasy VII. Thursday is, uh, Dead by Daylight or Monster 2. Friday is this right now. Which is the Killer Instinct story slash ladders. And Saturday is usually retrospective for a game I beat. So, until next time, take care everyone, have fun, and again, this is Rich Kale here on YouTube, Rich Gen X Elsewhere. Bye!